Hello guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can integrate Llama Index with AWS Bedrock. Llama Index is a framework through which you can build your large language model applications and you can do a lot of things with it like you can ingest data, you can access private or domain specific data and there is a long list of things you can do with it with various models. The focus of this video is to show you how you can integrate this Llama index with AWS Bedrock. AWS Bedrock is a managed service from AWS which lets you talk to various models uh, which are compatible with the Bedrock through API calls. Okay, so I'll be using VS Code on my local laptop to access this Bedrock service through Llama index. And let me show you. So I am in my AWS, um, already logged into my AWS account and I have the keys which are saved on my config and credential file on my local system. If you don't know how to do that, there is a good documentation from AWS as how you can get your secret access key and um, key ID. All you need to do is to install AWS CLI and that will set it up in your local system so that you can access your AWS account where your bedrock is already present and you have access. Okay, so I'm assuming that you already have access to your AWS account plus you have uh, your credential set and you have uh, Llama index installed. If you don't have Llama index installed, all you need to do is to do, do pip install Llama index. It will be installed. So it will install Llama index to your local system. So I am assuming you already have done it. Now, this first code is what showing you that how you can integrate it easily. So in this first example, first I'm importing photo three and JSON, and then I am importing this bedrock and chat message from Llama index. And through this bedrock, I'm going to access this um, Llama index plus AWS bedrock service. Then I'm mentioning the profile name. This is the profile which is set in my AWS config and AWS credential file in AWS CLI on my local laptop. And if you don't know how to do this, as I said, just go through AWS documentation, see what AWS profile is, and then it's very easy to uh, configure. Okay, and then all I'm doing is I'm calling this Bedrock module to go with this Amazon Titan model in AWS Bedrock. I am passing my profile name, which is this one, user one, and then I'm asking it to complete this sentence, and my prompt is Warren Buffett is, and this model should complete the sentence. So let's try it out. I'm running this program in my local laptop and let's see what it does. There you go. So it is, it has given me a perfectly spot on answer that Warren Buffett also known as Oracle of Omaha is an American business magnet, investor and philanthropist and so on. So perfectly fine answer. Okay. In the next example, I'm going to show you how you can call the chat function uh, from Llama index by using this AWS Bedrock service. So in this one, I'm just passing it this messages array. And in this one, I'm playing the role, the system role. And then this is my prompt where I'm asking it that you are a financial investor with a colorful personality. And then I'm asking, starting the chat with this that tell me your favorite stock story. And again, I'm passing it this Amazon Titan model and then also my profile. Let's run it. And I'll make it a bit bigger so that you can see the output. Let's wait for it to come back. There you go. So it has just made up uh, a favorite stock story that it is about John Templeton, who started with just 100 and turned into an investment of more than 100 million. And then it goes on and on and on. Um, I'm not sure if that's a true story, but still, uh, John Templeton is, I think, is a name of a genuine investor, a very good one too. Anyway, so you can see that it has uh, produced a very good stock story 
on the basis of this um, prompt and I think John Templeton was a colorful personality, a very different personality, I would say. Okay, let's clear it. Let's show you another example. Now, in this example, we are streaming the response with stream complete function. So let's see how it goes. Bedrock and stream dot by. And again, I'm asking it for in buffer test, and then it will start streaming the response. And by streaming, if you have any chat application or stream application, you can simply integrate it and start streaming your response. Okay. Now you can see that it is uh, streaming it and then it has stopped and it is also saying that maybe it stumbled upon something uh, untoward so it is saying that it is not going to publish that inappropriate content which is fine. Let me clear it and try it again if it is able to get any better response. Whatever stream function is working as you can see and uh, this time it worked and you can see it is streaming, 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 and then it will go on and on and you can set all of these parameters easily. Cool. In the last example, I'm also going to show you a bit of a variation where I'm combining chat plus stream. And you can see that it, in this one, I have given it this chat message and then I am using the stream chat. So we will pass it role in this prompt and then we will, we can chat with it in this loop because it is just a limited function so i'm not uh, because you would need a chat interface to exactly carry on chat but if this is the first building block in that example so let me do that stream chat let's run it sorry i forgot the p here there you go let's wait for it to come back There you go, and it will stream it, and then we can uh, build a chat uh, assistant on top of it. So uh, you can see that how cool and easy it is to integrate Llama Index with Bedrock. And I would highly suggest that if you're building large language model applications, give a go to Llama Index. It's very easy to use, very efficient, very fast, and very lightweight too and you can build real powerful small or big applications just by using this simple functionality well i hope that you enjoyed it if you get stuck or if you have any questions or if you're even struggling to implement that aws profile thing which i mentioned at the start please feel free to ask the question in the comments and i will be happy to help out and of course if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel as it helps thank you very much